an agriculture tool manufacturer is looking to implement induction soldering in the production of their tools. Currently, they use gas for soldering but want to move to induction heating so that they can improve their quality, repeatability, and working conditions. The parts that we have to solder are copper tubing to a brass valve. The temperature should not exceed 280 degrees Celsius in the middle of the parts. The customer wants to increase productivity to 50 pieces a day. Two power supplies were considered for this application. 5 kilowatts and 2 kilowatts. The trade-off is the need for a high inductance coil which will allow for better efficiency. A higher inductance coil may not work best since it obstructs the working area and may come in contact with the part. The 5 kilowatts is superior in performance being able to work with a two-turn coil which allows for better heat concentration and shorter heating cycles.